Hello, welcome to my little backyard organic veggie garden. I have a lot of pots here, there and everywhere because I'm try I'm waiting for a bath that a friend is giving me to put my asparagus in. So there's bits and pieces of asparagus here, there and everywhere. And I like I like to take cuttings and grow plants for people. So there's a lot of bits and pieces around that I will give away. This is a, a black currant. Delicious black currant in a pot. Some asparagus here. And over the back here there is Russian garlic, sometimes called elephant garlic. I thought I'd lost all my cloves, but I found a few. So I've only got a small crop this year. Um, oh, a couple of bits and pieces there, capsicums and celery, some little tiny radishes. And over the back, that's um, New Zealand miner's lettuce, which, I mean, it's gone to seed, so I don't know what it tastes like once it goes to seed, but you just... Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Still tasty. So you can actually minus lettuce. Some people call it minus spinach. You can toss it in at the end of a stir fry or you can have it in a salad. I've done both. Over here some beans which I'm waiting to grow. I don't get a lot of sun in this part of the garden until well into spring. So um, some rhubarb. Nice rhubarb plant over here. I have a few trees are spalliered along the back. This is a plum tree. It doesn't really do very well. It has a few plum, few plums on it this year. I might have to rethink that one. Uh, this is asparagus. Another one that I'm waiting to put in the bath my friend has given me. Parsley and rhubarb. Oh, a pear tree that's doing very well. I'll, um, I'm waiting for another passion fruit to grow, but I, I don't want to be without passion fruit completely. There's one hiding. I didn't know that one was there. They actually haven't started yet. So, oh. <laughs> um, what, else, what else do we have? Oh, okay. So in this garden bed, I have onions and garlic. We have, um, oh, that's a, there we go. That's a blueberry and another big blueberry plant there for cross pollination. Along here, you can see the difference in the leaves between here and over there. This is a, a garlic, it's a, um, a red garlic. That's, actually, we call it Rusty's gar garlic because a friend of ours, Rusty, who is an organic garlic grower, gave us the original bulb, so we call it Rusty's garlic. Actually, you notice in my hand I actually have some skates. So what happens is, when the garlic goes to seed, if they've bolted like this one has, just, oops, just break off this, the um where it's gone to seed. I think, I'm pretty sure it's called a skate. And I've already taken a lot this morning. And put them in a stir fry. And you have a lovely taste of garlic in your stir fry. Um, you have some prostate rosemary, which I love in the veggie garden because it hangs over the side. And when it's in flower, it's nice and blue and attracts the bees. Have silver bee popped up here, there and everywhere because I let a plant go to seed on purpose last year. Um, and on this side, so the other side is Rusty's garlic, and on this side uh, is a red onion. That, this is the first time I've put them in this year, and I've already got half a bed of them. Um, you can't, it's a bit too young to show you what it's like, but it's a small red onion. It's more of a, um, a shallot, really, and lovely for pickling. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, no, it's not a potato or a walking onion can't remember now, but it's a small red one, lovely to pickle. Here I have some thyme that's also falling over the edge of the garden. And, oh, this is a spring onion. Oh, no, it's not. It's a garlic. That's not. Beg your pardon. This is a spring onion. I've let that go to seed, and I'll collect the seeds from one. But this one here, you can see where I've already had a nibble. And you pull these seeds out and pop them on your, on your salad. Or for me, it's often a salad wrap. Um... I've already said about the pear tree, which is really doing really well. This is only the second year. This is my second season in, with this veggie garden. We dug up the, all the garden because it, uh, the soil was really bad and it was barely set out. So we've put this in. Um, that's about, oh, here we have borage. Now borage, the plant's a little bit on the prickly side. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit prickly. 
and the bees absolutely love borage it has this lovely pretty purple flower and you can eat the flower you can pop it in a salad or oh, I'm just eating it it's nice it? mm, yum it has a nice very mellow flavor I can't even tell you what it tastes like I have to come to my place and try some another black currant and here we have a nashi fruit which last year was its second year it's been in the garden and it had fruit and yeah, you can see a couple few little nashies there probably be more of them have to have a look careful look later on um oh my poor old pot just fell apart it um i let it dry out and then it, it just it dried and yes never mind um here we have a snow pea that's um been producing really well and I've been picking quite a few snow peas I have some inside already for I can't show you too many because I've picked them all more silver beet and this is coriander I'm letting the coriander go to flower or go to seed so that the bees like the flowers and other little insects and then I'll collect the seeds one I'll re use them to grow more coriander because coriander seems to bolt very quickly so I'm often replanting it planting the seeds and also you can use it in cooking um, oh this is an amazing little miniature uh, nectarine tree I actually gave it a big prune this year and got stuck into it I get so many nectarines that they tend to get um, all sorts of um, debris and things in them and they and they'll, they'll rot so I, I really drastically cut them back this year I, here we go so there's loads there's still loads I'll have a good feed from them but um, yeah I've given it a really good haircut this year so it's still doing okay I'm in the sun so it's not looking too good okay here is an apple tree that's got plenty of blossom Oh, well, the blossoms have blown off. It had plenty of blossom. And a lot of tiny little apples. Let me see if I can show you some. Oh, there's one right there. But there's, it actually has lots. And, of course, when I go to show you, I can't get my eye on them. <laughs> They're really tiny at the moment. Okay, and a oh, lemon tree that was in a pot I've transplanted. I'm trying to remember why we put that board up behind it. Oh, I know. There was a gardener next door. Um, they have a person comes in and they were mowing the lawns for them and he sprayed um, Roundup along my fence and I nearly died because we like to grow everything organic so I put that up there, put a sign up and said please don't spray and uh, put that up there just in case. That's kind of about it in the back veggie garden and I'll have to take a photo of the front garden or a video of the front garden later. My problem is that I didn't have enough room to put all the things in that I want. <laughs> oh, I know what there is. So this is just a just for flowers. And I've just, obviously, um, <laughs> here's the gloves. Um, I've just put some, some strawberry plants in here. Okay, that's it. Thanks, folks. You can press like if you want to. Bye.